Hi. Resolve 18 Beta 2 was released today. Beta 1 lacked access to a new feature that was promoted by Blackmagic at the announcement of the new Resolve 18, where you could use the Magic Mask tool that was introduced in Resolve 17 to select and track objects now instead of just people. Beta 2 now includes this feature and we'll have a quick look at it in this brief video. In the current version of Resolve, you can create these mask for people like this so that you can selectively modify the person, invert the mask to affect a background only, or select a specific body component to affect such as only the hair. To demonstrate the new object magic mask, I'll use this clip of a vehicle driving down the beach. Over on the color page, I'll switch to the magic mask pane like this. In beta 1, we only had this reset all button here at the top of the pane, but in beta 2, we can now switch between people and objects. I will select object for the mask as it will default to person. I'll turn on the reveal mask feature here so we can see what's getting selected and I will also enable better mode to get a more refined mask. Now with my clip at the first frame here, I will select the Jeep by creating a stroke like this. Once the mask is complete, I can zoom in and confirm that I'm happy with the result. To exclude an element, I can use the eyedropper minus tool, and I can add additional strokes for areas that got missed. Once I'm happy with the mask, I can tell Resolve to track the clip, and it will then track the selected object throughout the clip's duration. I'll use the track forward button here, but you can use the track backwards and forwards if you created your selection, say, in the middle of the clip. Once complete, I can now apply effects to only the mask area. So for example, I can invert the mask like this. Now I'll go to the RGB mixer panel and select monochrome. We play back the clip, and now I have a nice selective color update for my Jeep with the background in black and white. Okay, that's it for this brief video. If you have questions or anything, please feel free to use the comments section of the video, as I am happy to respond to every comment comment or question. Also, if you like the video, please click like as that helps other folks find it. And until the next video, take care.